hello, hello, danger noodles. Uh, other people uh aren't here at the moment, so it's just me. All right. All right. So. Do, 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 do. Let's go here, go there. Yeah. Also, is anyone here? Just out of curiosity. Why did I sound like that? <laughs> Anyways. Add a parentheses. That's the, what this is. So far, I'm still on my own. Oh, God. Just fix this. Put that there. Boom. All right. All fixed. All right. So we can cross that off the list. Okay, what else do we need to do? Okay, we did describe the SCPs better. Alright. This so one part we need to describe the SCPs better. Alright, so. Let's pan upon Dr. Bright scenes. Well, I can't do the Dr. Rattler and Bright scenes without Rattler being here. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, so we're gonna go with the bad memories part. So let's do that. <laughs> let's see, where is it?
Wait, we got that done. Now it sucks is everything else. I need cherry. Or oh, wait. No, I don't. I can do a better fight against the cars. Okay. Yes. Rising Motor for the VHS type bus VCR. All right. Uh, as long as left. Uh, also describing the episode. That's right. Alright. Hmm. This is the hard part. Describing the Laffy episode. Hmm. Let me get rid of that sentence and replace it with Describe this episode. Of course, I need to delete that. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm gonna try this. It's probably not gonna turn out great, but none of the others are here, so I, so I don't know if it'll turn out great or not. But that's supposed to start writing. Everything can be edited down and changed. Nothing's final. All right. All right. What am I getting? Ah, chew. <laughs> All right. So it's there. All right, this is getting a lot better. Keep going, keep going. So after this, I don't know what to do. That. Out the machine grab them. All right, that's better. I've made a really bad sentence. <laughs> that would have been bad. All right.
Alright. Alright. Still going. Alright, let's keep going. Almost done. Yeah, I'm not sure how much I can go either. I just have to continue after the episode because everything else I need Jiri for. So I won't be able to do much. So I got the Tonsil's Lappies tape. Well, almost. Gotta finish that. Okay. Well, got the fight for the guards. Bad memories. Everything else. I need Jiri for. Oh, wait. Is Jiri coming in? Jiri! Sorrow's AFK. Oh my gosh. Is it fixed? So I'm not sure. Is it still flashing? It is what still flashing? The... Oh, well, yes. Yes, it is. Oh, it's flashing. Was someone else saying it was flashing? Alright. Yeah. So basically I saw from Hatchet's thing in the pens what I need to do. Oh, alright. So I think I did go to the bad memories part. With the fight between the guards. We'll we'll take a better look at back at that. Right now I'm working on Laffy's tape. And since I remembered I talked about how Laffy was punishing this guy who is doing a bunch of factory bullshit. I decided to make the tape about that fucker. And let's just say he had a oh. a very fucked up death. I'm gonna read how he died. Ready? He was frank right. he was frankly going to each machine to make sure they were working until all the machines roared their sirens and flashing lights of red all around the man. Then the strings pulled rapidly and mutilated the man while also sucking parts of him into the machine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, I had it at the beginning that there were strings attached to him the entire time. Yeah, uh -huh. he, yeah he got mutilated. I don't know why I didn't clarify that Laffy was wearing a blue suit. I just call him in a suit. That couldn't mean anything. Technically, even blue suit is a little big. I don't... Well, it's kind of hard with Laffy because he changes his looks all the time, so it's kind of hard to tell what suit he wears. Well, you can pick a random type of suit, like, is it a business suit? Oh, hold on, I see something.
Oh, even looking at business suits, there's different types. Fuck me, I guess. I want to see something. Huh? There are there are things called factories. Uh, it's it's factory suits, but they're called like uh shit. What are they? What's on here? Uh, uh, performance stretch suit. But it, it's mainly used by people who work in factory, and since it's a factory job. <laughs> Oh. For performance, a blue performance suit. There we go. Came on screen with the man's head. And I need everyone to laugh. So yeah, I mean, I did what Mama wanted. I described the episode. <laughs> as gruesome as it is. <laughs> I mean, it's not the worst thing Laffy's done. <laughs> Laffy's done way worse. Fair enough. Yeah. And there are plenty of times where he had the people getting tortured to laugh with him. Yeah. see the last thing i need to do because i described the scps i did that one bad memories clearer did the fight did laffy's tape last is rattler and bright scenes well Fair enough. that's good because we're here <laughs> i think that was mainly like with the hallway part I think everything else is fine because we do talk a lot. Yeah, they we didn't make the elevator feel long or the hallway, and it's probably a long way down and mm. a long walk. You could even just be commenting on the awkwardness of the quietness. Okay, so cut that off there because right there it says I follow you hesitantly. How about after that, instead of like going right to the long walk, yeah. why don't we talk about like they go to? Well, you don't need to cut that off, but uh, I guess technically you do. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was doing lead them to basically an elevator where uh Radler like let's face it they probably put, both put in the number and put in their like ID card yeah and an access code or their fingerprints which one do you think they'd use more likely I I have no idea <laughs> I, I would have to say a retinal scan or something because fingerprints can be stolen. Yeah. Can I be honest with the retinal scanner thing? When I first yeah. heard that, I thought people were talking about like the ass, like you scan your ass and not the eye. Then I saw in a movie, I was like, oh. <laughs> I first thought it was right? an ass scanner. Do you know what a retinal is? I, I do now, of course, obviously. But, like, when I was younger, I literally thought it was the ass. <laughs> oh. Also, hi, Brooklyn. The retina is the outer tissue of the eyeball. Yeah. I know that. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Just that before I thought it was you just shove your ass onto the scanner and it scans your ass. <laughs> so yeah, let's have them start off with going into the elevator. There can be some awkward silence. 
maybe have Radler ask Erin if she's feeling tired or hungry or thirsty. All right. Oh yeah, you know what I did for the SCP-963? Hmm. I just went to the actual document. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I put in parentheses what, what it is. That way, I mean, I don't have to describe 579 because it's context clues you can piece it together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Also, how do you describe an anti-meme? Especially 579 when the description is dead expunged. Yeah. <laughs> you get the idea of what it is, but you'll also never know what it is. At least, like, with... Oh, fuck, what's his number? Like, the one that's just literally an anti-meme where, where we know it, it's not a circle. I forgot its number. No, it's not round. We know it's not round. Mm-hmm. At least. Well, anyway, let's get to the to the uh, modifying. Alright. Okay, so head. Well, I put they way. <laughs> anyway, I probably want to change that. Also, if you want, you can uh, add how Bradler is walking, which I think might give an idea of his mood. Like, Long strides in your walk typically means that you're calm. Shorter strides typically mean you're more nervous. Yeah, I decided instead of just saying elevator, just make it a better sounding name, the containment sector elevator. Because I mean, we're going to a containment cell. So... I just think containment sector elevator sounds better than just elevator. <laughs> what was about the steps thing, Jerry? Or are you typing something? Oh, okay. You're typing something. <laughs> Never mind. Well, basically, the, uh, I don't need to type it. The stride in there short, not the stride. The stride in there, uh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> the steps in there stride. Your brain fart. The steps in there, I guess stride technically means long steps, so. Hmm. I thought stride just meant walking. Well, they were walking with uh, short and quick steps, despite, yeah, they were. I don't think you need to add anything besides that to show 
body language of nervousness. Yeah. And then either like open it with like a code and retinal scan or like his card or something else. You pick whatever like complicated access stuff that you think they'd need to go through. You can. You, mm -hmm. Yeah. You could say the man since I feel like Rattler and Indigo were both already spoken like very shortly before them. And I don't want to risk you sounding repetitive. Yeah. What level were you? I forgot. I am... what... oh. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> three. I don't know for the life of me. <laughs> it is level three, but I have a feeling this is somewhere he's getting special access to specifically because of the situation. I actually have. I was actually planning it for him to not typically have access there. This is probably literally the first time he's ever seen his own tree face to face. Probably level four then, because level five is the 05. I'm pretty sure they're not going to give you that. <laughs> level well, four is site director. You, you, could, you should probably put that the level four key card is marked temporary. Because I feel like they're not going to let him keep that. You accidentally added a T on N. God damn it. I think I think your your stream on Discord was having a slight stroke. Seriously? Yeah, was... it's flashing. Right now? Okay. Fucking Discord can't handle a word worth of shit. This is well it's handled games with with higher capacities than this. I don't know why it's pissed at word. Wait, why am I getting added in Discord? Pika started streaming. Ah. Uh... That makes sense. Hmm. All right.
All right. I got the elevator done. Well, almost. Obviously. Just, just well, yeah. while it's uh, while the elevator is going to make it feel longer, uh, you could add like, how are the lights in the elevator? Is there music? Is it awkwardly silent? To be honest, I picture it being awkwardly silent. Because I don't think. Add the, add the awkward silence. I kind of imagined that too, but I didn't want to say it. Because <laughs> I don't think the foundation would pay for music. Could you like imagine them like doing elevator music in the SCP Foundation? Yeah. <laughs> I see your destination is 682. Well, we're, you're waiting to get to 682. Listen to this music. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That, that does not seem 682 appropriate. Yeah. Oh. I feel like Jack Bright would would go to every elevator if they could and put weird ass music in it. I could see that. Or they would just put the Rick Roll mute song in it on repeat. Oh my god. <laughs> like your goal, your destination is 106. <laughs> We're no strangers to love. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> You're no fools, and so do I. <laughs> oh my gosh. I bet Bookworm is just questioning me right now. <laughs> If, it, if it's fair, I could even see you doing that, and you're not technically Jack Bright. But it still fits. The Alpha Vader. Um. <laughs> I did both lights and sound. Well, you should probably put dimly lit since dim has multiple meanings. Uh. Mm. Yeah, I did both. Very <laughs> nice. <laughs> now I'm going to type a, a thing for Rattler. All right. I think this is still the Rattler paragraph, so I'm just add it in there. <laughs> I am so immature. one for Pokorn to bonk me. Because <laughs> I am way too immature. <laughs> yeah, while you're typing this, I kind of thought of something. I want to see what you and Pokorn's thoughts were on it. 
Um, you know how I'm gonna get new overlays, right? Yep. I already got the starting soon design, right? But I can't think of an intermission ending. So I was thinking maybe do a competition. To see who in Discord server could think of a good idea to, that would match the starting soon. And whoever wins gets picked. What do you think? I am very bad with contest tests. <laughs> I believe in you, Jerry. Just because he said that. What? You heard me. Also, I will read my comment out because Bookrunner has not bonked me. I typed in my Twitch chat the word penis. That's why I was saying I was immature earlier. So I typed the word penis. Also, I changed my name again. I'm now MUI Gustav. <laughs> oh, there's bo there's bookworm. <laughs> I wonder if they heard everything. Bookworm, if you heard anything, tell me how gay Jerry is. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jerry. Very uh, lol. <laughs> uh, uh, it seems like they heard you. Also, I typed the thing out. I figured I'd type it. It'd be easier that way simply because... It's so involved in my character. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to touch, like, adding any stuff at all with you and me, because I feel like I would fuck it up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> at least I'm honest. If it makes you feel any better, I had the same fear. That's why I originally didn't directly put your character in my story. <laughs> That's a big thing to not be allowed to see, isn't it? <laughs> this is the first thing, the first time I get to see the thing that determines if I'm alive or dead. <laughs> also, Bookworm, if you, since you responded to the Jiri question and said that you heard everything, what competition am I making? We're testing Bookworm's loyalty right now <laughs> we're testing the loyalty <laughs> i'm such an asshole I feel like the thing Radler said before at checking on Aaron is one of those slip ups.
whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the weirdest fucking wrapper container of shit I've ever seen. Aaron. Like, my character just acts cold towards you. Is oh. she gonna, is she making any, it, where is she looking? Is she doing anything with her arms? Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, at this moment, they don't really trust you. <laughs> They're hesitant. <laughs> yeah. We have this awkward thing where one of them remembers that, but the other one doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> so they're just like, yeah, let's, let's let's just give what we need. This is the perfect way of stabbing someone in the heart. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And because she doesn't remember him, she doesn't even, of course seem to realize or care about what a big issue he actually out. Mm -hmm. Which makes sense. If you don't remember them, if you don't like care about them because you don't remember them, why would you care? Yeah. I'm just trying to think if should we add something Rattler should say about that. Like I, I think I will. I'll right. Type yeah, out. Okay. <laughs> I should really fix the the intake paperwork category where it still has says something obnoxious. Oh god damn it. I'll be back. Fucking Discord bitch cut him off my voice. Oh, man. I was saying I should probably fix the intake paperwork category so it stops saying something obnoxious in every channel. <laughs> it's a channel name. I only did that because I was planning to do something very tame and noticeable as an April Fool's prank. Then Chu said, just don't do something obnoxious. And I was like, there's no way I shouldn't do this. <laughs> and that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Chusha saw that coming. If they said nothing, it would have been something very tame. Oh. Just let me know when you're done. Oh. 
Oh, hi, Aderna. I am not typing anything el out in, uh, announcements channel. Um, of course you are. There we go. I think after either he says that or after like Aaron responds, if they do respond, that's probably when the elevator opens. All right, I'll, be, I'll get in just a second. All right. I need to go. All right. I have this already saved. Let's see. No. I thought it auto saved. No, it was something else. I accidentally deleted something I need. Oh. Yeah. Well, look, at I got a copy. <laughs> Good. Fuck off with the fucking publish shit. I'm gonna kill the Discord in a moment. Oh my. All right, there we go. 
I posted nothing in uh, announcements. I saw it. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Hmm. I'm not sure if I want to say anything or not. Because, I mean, from the previous one, it looks like they don't really want to talk. <laughs> so I think it makes more sense that I don't say anything else. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> I think the only thing would be the comment that she didn't respond and then the doors opened. Yeah. Well, technically, the elevator needs to stop and then open. All right, time to type some more indigo stuff. Yeah. I thought this would be more about your character. Well, to be honest, the moment wanted discussion between us two and us getting along and everything. I mean, the previous conversation was mainly, what's funny is, gee, I find this funny. Last time we were, like, talking between each other, it helped, it described more of my character. Now when we do it again, it's your character. <laughs> I think it's because... Things have flipped because uh, now uh, now Aaron doesn't remember, so he's the one talking because he's the one desperate to get them to be okay. While Aaron's the one that's being quiet because she sees him as a weird stranger. My question is, is I wonder if anyone will, will do the competition. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Just sneeze. <laughs> we will find out. There's quite a few artists on the server, and, I'm, and you might even have live fans in the Twitch that, you know. I don't want to announce on Twitter because people are going to just uh, ping me in DM saying, oh, uh, basically, uh, commission me and I'll do it for you, like, before anything else. Well, I'm just trying to do a competition. Not commission immediately. That happens after the competition. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm not going to announce on Twitter. Because I'm already getting harassed by people wanting me to commission them.
Oh, my sweet baby boy. Oh, I'm sorry, did I wake you? Okay, go back to bed. Laying on my pillow as always, which means when I go to bed, I have to push them off. <laughs> Got to learn to stop laying on my pillow. It's not your bed. You literally have your own pillow. You freaking stinker. Sorry, I'm just talking to Busta since I'm bored. That's, that's okay. I get what we're trying to say because it opened the large containment cell, but it, the elevator opened in front of the containment cell, then opened the large containment cell. So no, I'm keeping the two there. Fuck you. Well, didn't it open to the hallway? Oh. Talk too deep. Oh, right. Also... They are now officially uh, finishing off their coffee sooner than before. Yeah. There you go. I fixed it. Big brain. Also, hi, Adarna. How are you doing? Good. As you can tell. As you can see, there's nothing in announcements. Don't worry about it. Just undoing my April's full prank a while ago. None of the staff members told me to get rid of it. Boom. Every full stay prank is gone. The typing simulator continues. You know what's actually kind of funny, Jerry? Since I did the rest of the stuff on my own, after we finish this back and you me talk before, before we go into the cell, we're done with chapter one. That's I mean, kind of crazy. Yeah. But we're still going to like double check everything through Wednesday, obviously. Make sure everything doesn't have any errors or stuff like that before we decide a reading date. And this time, hopefully... We won't have to, you know, do all that. Uh, have to redo everything all over again.
Everything should hopefully be fine. There we go. I should have added non containment cell instead of non cell. <laughs> I fixed it. Thank you. Yeah, for some reason, I've always imagined the higher ranked one like to be progressively more and more cold, if that makes sense. Yeah. What's worse is I am going to be cold right now. That's okay. the worst part is at no point is Aaron going to regret being a jackass to him because they'll never remember him There it goes. Hmm. Ah! Oh, I actually hit the zero. I actually hit my hand on its on the zero. Hmm. What am I trying to say? <laughs> I just get uh, slightly mad at <laughs> your state questions. <laughs> I mean, it's fair. Yeah. Also, you should. Is she going to stay in the elevator? Is she going to walk out of it? And, you know, yeah, she, she doesn't remember anything, but. I also don't blame Rattler for asking it in the first place. It's literally his first time going there. God damn, I hit my mute button. There we go. I think we already know she's questioning whether uh, or not to trust him. So get rid of that. Yeah, I think you should just say how she's getting out of the elevator. Neither started to really walk yet.
I think the longer we make this feel, the more it'll feel like they're really taking a long walk. <laughs> it sounds so mean. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cherry. Why are you apologizing? These are both characters. We yeah. both may feel connections to our characters, but they are not us. And while I feel bad for my character, there's nothing I can... What do, what can you really do about it? It's part of the story. Yeah. The only thing I feel bad about them, though, is that I don't think your character is ever going to feel guilty about this. Possibly. Are you enjoying your time here, Adorno? And Adorno is dead. Adorno. Jiri has murdered Aderna. No. <laughs> How can you prove that you didn't murder Aderna? They're alive. They're just quiet. We don't know why. <laughs> I feel like Aderna is slightly judging me right now. <laughs> I like how before we edited chapter one at all, the back because when we had Momo speaking with us, it was li almost less than eight thousand words. We are now at nine thousand eight hundred and eight words. Oh, what the hell happened? We almost went up two thousand words. Oh yeah, I have some good news, but also bad news. What? I don't have any overtime this week, which means I can stream way longer. Bad news is, I don't have overtime this week. Fair enough. <laughs>
I'm just kind of surprised that we're literally almost done with editing. Why am I having such difficulty spelling anomaly? I believe in you. You are the ultimate writer. Do it, I believe. Just do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just bringing back all dead memes. Eh. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna confuse Chew. I'm just gonna go to Chew's stream and type the word bye. What do you mean, probably Bright Aderna? What the fuck are you going on about? <laughs> Wait a minute. I can see Chew's stream. Why are you talking about me? <laughs> I want answers, Adarna. <laughs> Cause why not? It's this book. <laughs> yeah, I want to do something stupid. And <laughs> I see. Ted Turner says, probably bright. I want answers. What's worse is if I can't turn on two stream volume because uh, my stream will pick it up. So I can only hope that Aderna answers me. Wait, hold on, I know what to do. Okay, never mind, two suits distracted. Yeah, I muted the output capture, so stream will in here. <laughs> oh. Because I want to know what the fuck Eternal was talking about me about. 
They just mentioned me on two stream and then that's it. Also, yes, I know that they find they said the thing, so Bright's less likely to do the thing on her own, but I'm positive we can still get it down her throat. Yeah. That is a very dark thing to say, but I stand by it. Nope. <laughs> Is she ignoring him? Possibly. <laughs> oh, wait. There we go. And I need to change it because we're, we're, I was using the wrong tense. Very nice. And boom. That. She's not even confused how it's his first time here and he can find his way. No. <laughs> she, doesn't, she does not care. Well, then I better type for more. Oh, shoot. We lost the Adderney. I think Aderna just has bad internet. Aderna, if you can hear me, tell me what the fuck you're talking about in Twitch chat on Chew's stream. It was, so she was asking, she was talking about like getting pinged and stuff. So I was like, it, I was thinking it was probably you. Oh, yeah, that was probably the announcements. I thought you were talking about like a character in game was me or something. I was like, who? <laughs> I demand to know. Wait a minute, I just realized Brooklyn's message recently. Either dark or horny. What was that too, book? Wait a minute. There we go. I guess you can't expect Rattler to indefinitely ignore her childish behavior. But once again, since I'm assuming, like, it's still going to happen even if she knows not to do it. After all, the security ramp just came out of nowhere, right? Right.
That was actually a dark suggestion. <laughs> oh wait, I I, cho I did the wrong choose. That's I said choose instead of chose. <laughs> I like how the first time we're talking, we're really nice to each other. And when it gets to this, I'm just bad shit and mean to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. God damn it, book. At this point, we're almost probably at the containment room, right? No. Oh, we're not? Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Later, I think probably on one of my days off, I'm gonna revise one of the test logs. Make it look better. Even though it's already perfectly edited and how it's supposed to look like, I'm gonna change a little bit. Just a, just, just a little bit. There we go. All right. Now you can choose if they get to the staircase that goes down now, 
or later. Also, what he said does make sense because while his pepper doesn't have like an amazing ability, if you really think about it, if handled wrong, it's very bad for you. Yeah. It is dangerous. Even if you use it right, it can be dangerous. Imagine remembering everything. I should, I used the wrong then. I needed to use T H E N. Word corrected it. Oh, fuck word. <laughs> Does you respond? Yes. Oh. There's still some, uh, still some a little mistrust. <laughs> you know what? This is actually wonderful because I feel like this is something this part of the story was missing because why did Aaron go from not trusting anyone at all to listening to everything Radler was saying? Yeah. Boom. Now yeah. I think I'm going to do something important. Okay. Which I know she won't have the item later for obvious reasons unless unless it's pulled into the TV with her. Mm -hmm. But I'm still going to do it. Okay. Since there's a possibility hit, since one we have already confirmed this is colliding with my story. And two, if it is, that means at this point, it'll be where, yeah. So you both know what my, how my character was created, right? Hmm? You know, yeah, we, we both know how your character was created. I just want to I want to picture, you know how kindergarten is say, oh yeah, make your family tree. Uh... <laughs> and the teacher sees that <laughs> the grandparents is a machine while the per 
on a, the grandfather, like the grandmother's machine, and the grandfather is four people. <laughs> Just like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been teaching your kid <laughs> that's technically not wrong yeah man And once we get to the cane cell, we're pretty much done. I have a feeling we'll need to modify some things in the containment center. That's fair, but I think once we get to the cell, we've just finished for tonight, because it's, it's almost midnight. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I want to end the stream. So probably by the time we get into the containment cell, we'll finish it, and we'll barely have anything to do Wednesday. Which will actually be pretty good. I think we'll probably need to do things in the containment cell one day. That's what I meant. Like, after that, we'll not have much to do. We'll just do one final check. Maybe I have home. an idea for what could happen in the cell, if you're okay with a suggestion. Okay. It seems like this time, Aaron might actually listen to Bright, but if that's the case... I think um, the staff might shove one of the peppers, try to shove one of the peppers into her mouth. And since I'm pretty positive Aaron wouldn't want that, and Radler wouldn't want that, they could have R Radler get injured mm. before grabbing Aaron. It also makes more sense that way anyway, since... In the original, why didn't Radler try to help? Fair, yeah. Like, wh what was he doing? Why was he just standing there? He is so concerned. Why isn't he doing anything? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can go with that. And it would make more sense why she hates the Foundation even more. <laughs> but uh, but the containment cell thing. I think he now he's gonna. It, what'll probably help is right now he's going to tell her information he was denied being allowed to tell her by the O5 Council. Uh. You know, it's also pretty good, Cherry, that that sh she didn't get re reverted back to what she normal, what she was at the nine one four test. Because oh. that was the case, that would have been real bad if they were mad at you. Oh, oh hi, Hatchet. How's it going? Hello. We're going through uh, technically all that's left. That uh. Because I went through the pens. I, uh, all that's left is just the mean jury reactions of talking to one another. Gotcha. And I'm typing my how I respond. All my responses are just me on my own. Oh, well, Jerry types their response because I don't know how they speak. 
the character speaks, I mean. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. So I'm, I am still writing by myself. Uh. Also, welcome back. Mm. Oh yeah, Hatchet. Uh, yesterday during the Pokemon Insurgent stream. Mm. Uh, Anki. Literally saved me. <laughs> Alright, so this person pulled out a Mewtwo, then Mega evolved it, and it was killing almost everyone on my team. Because it's like super powerful as Mega Evolve. Angie gets in there, gets hit with it once, barely does any damage. Angie just mm -hmm. takes hit after hit after hit while well, almost killing it. Then lets the next Pokemon kill it. And then I won the battle. Angie just took took it like a champ. Nice. I think Angie is probably. I know Alphonse is strong, but I think Angie's the strongest person on my team. <laughs> you say person as if Pokemon are people. I shouldn't have to answer that question. <laughs> Pretty sure a bunch of them are people. Aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Pokemon. You can capture people. <laughs> I think like, could Digimon be worse? Maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know jack shit about the Digimon lore. I only remember the first and second season. So I don't know if there was any, like, human stuff. I did watch a YouTube short where there was a, a Digimon that was hitting on a child. That's sus. Well, yeah. well like, all aren't all Digimon, Digimon, like, sapient or something? Yeah, I think so. I say that automatically makes sense. Yeah. Let's just assume that Digimon doesn't understand uh, Age of Consent and move on. Yeah. <laughs> well, Digimon know very little about humans, so that would make sense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was like I w walk up to my cat, hey, bitch, do you know when I get to drive? <laughs> Bestus. Bestus. What is the age of consent in the United States of America? I think that varies state to state. Kinda. I know that Texas has like 17 years old. Uh Bestus is just looking at me. He doesn't know jack shit. I put you through college and this is what I get. <laughs> but anyway, I kind of just wanted to pop in and double check to see if my brain was going to let me be social. Uh I don't think it is, but all right. So I guess I'll just, like I said before, I'll just have you run me through all that y'all have done without me. Did you just say cheese at me? <laughs> How did gay yeah. soap turn into cheese? Oh, you said gay soap? <laughs> yeah, I thought you said queso. <laughs> <laughs> You see, yeah, <laughs> you know what is actually a really good litmus test to see if I'm over socialized. Can my brain process things that Spood's saying? 
No. <laughs> no. <laughs> then I'm probably over socialized. Hey, Hatch, there's one thing I wanted to tell you. You know, in chapter two, when I mentioned the guy who did very dangerous factory work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. I made you laugh. Anyway, I remember. Yeah, um, I decided to make the laughy ass episode Thank about you. him. Yeah, that way it's connected. Very extremely dangerous factory work. I don't know why my tired brain wrote that. I can open it. <laughs> oh, Are you gonna use the giant scissors? Oh yeah, either. Um, either way, uh, I guess, yeah, I'll just look over everything that y'all have been doing yeah. on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. So, have a, ha have a good night, everyone. Yeah, good night, I, I guess, talk to you tomorrow or the next day, whenever the fuck my head hurts. Have a good night. Hey, Hatchet's head, stop hurting Hatchet. My over-socialized brain just immediately took that down the path of trying to, like, decipher the philosophical differences between the brain and the mind. <laughs> what is the mind? Is it a part of the brain? Is it independent of the brain? It's both. The brain obviously affects the mind, but is it, but, but is it contained within the brain? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't be thinking philosoph philos <laughs> you're... I shouldn't be thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Your brain's shutting down. Yeah. Have a have a good night, everyone. Yeah, good night, Hatchet. And now it's back to the three of us. Not counting bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> Guess the four of us. <laughs> Just the four of us. <laughs> I forgot how that song goes. <laughs> Believe in the power of Jiri. Jiri, did, yeah? did Spoo go to the bathroom upside down? No. <laughs> you, you don't have upside down toilets? No. Why? <laughs> I'm just waiting for Spood to hear me. Well, to be fair, Spood is close enough to hear you. They're just not paying attention. I think. Hey, Spood, can you hear me? I told you they aren't paying attention. How dare you not pay attention? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, they were washing their hands. Oh. <laughs> I would assume Spoon would pay attention to washing their hands while washing their hands. Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't I pay attention to washing my hands? I mean, it's not like I have two or three or four. Hey, Spoon, I have a question for you. Would you install an upside down toilet? Well, if you can piss vertically into the bowl, I guess I'll. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
I want to install at least 15 upside down toilets to make a toilet chandelier. You want a toilet chandelier? Yes. <laughs> so are you going to invite some friends over so you can do this? Uh, yeah, so we can all hold hands while we take shits. Together. <laughs> It'll be like a golden shower. Yeah. <laughs> Frank, right, right. do you know that you you could do that without the toilet chandelier, right? I don't care. I want the toilet chandelier. <laughs> the sparkling fountain. Now make sure to get the Japanese toilets, the ones that that spray your butt with water. Uh the days and the ones that sing at you while you're taking a piss. The only song they can play on the toilets is Rick Astley's He's never gonna give you up. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that would be torture. <laughs> you're not allowed to leave the toilet till the song's over. <laughs> Did you just make a new SVP? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the toilet chandelier that plays and never give you up and you're not allowed to leave the toilet. <laughs> and you must hold hands with your best friend while taking shit. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You don't hold hands with your best friend while taking a shit? <laughs> I, I'd probably die a little on the inside to be frank. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with holding your hands of your best friend while taking a shit. They're your best friend. <laughs> I feel like either Bookham or Darn is gonna judge me. <laughs> we we already are. <laughs> Would any of you hold Frank's hand while they're taking a shit. Yes. <laughs> I would hold myself. <laughs> Bookworm, would you hold my hand while taking a shit? <laughs> That's such a weird thing to ask your viewer. <laughs> If we were both taking a shit together, would you hold my hand? That's not even better. Maybe he's his book. <laughs> so I got a maybe from Bookworm. What about you, Adarna? Playing bathroom. Yep. Number four playing bathroom. I'm gonna message Shu that question. <laughs> I'm gonna ask that to multiple people. Who's <laughs> gonna question the shit out of all of this? I messaged a bunch of people. Imagine showing the dad. Sorry for the light wall of text. 
Hey, Hatchet. Right? Yes. I would like an explanation. What did, Mike, what did you do? I asked Hatchet, if, if, if we were taking a shit together, would you hold my hand? Why would you ask him that? Okay, so I was talking about a toilet chandelier and how everyone how my best friend would have to sit up there with me, then I decided I they have to... Then the, 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 I remembered me saying that the best friend had to hold your hand while taking the shit. You could not leave till it was done. <laughs> and then I went around asking people <laughs> would you hold my hand while I'm taking the shit together? <laughs> Brett, I'm gonna comment. I'm pretty sure most people want privacy while. <laughs> also, also, Bright, you forgot to mention that you would force them to listen to "Never Gonna Give You Up." Oh yeah, we'll do time. that too. <laughs> uh, Momo says no. Uh, Ash says only if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Hatchet, for bringing you into this. Oh, wait, Dix respond. If we're, if we're at the speed level that I'm going to poop next to, yes, I'd hold your hand. <laughs> what the fuck is my friend's group? <laughs> to be fair, the weirdest out of your friend's group is Bright and Spood. Uh, but to be right. fair, Spood is weirder than Bright, so you already know their weird level. Yeah. So, Hatchet, would you hold my hand if we were taking a shit together? <laughs> Did I put the wrong effect there? Maybe, I don't know. Uh, Hatchet, what's your answer? Yeah, uh, I think you need to replace the E with an A. I put the wrong effect. Sorry, I get them mixed up sometimes. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna give you a hug because you have to deal with this. <laughs> Dick says, but it's. It takes a lot for, for that to happen. I'm way more likely to just hold your hand. Just, like, just ask. Please do not restrain a situation where we're forced to do that. My response is no promises. <laughs> Why am I like this? Okay, so I don't I know. Okay, so what You're do I need to change? You're more interested in poop than uh, the comments of I accidentally used the wrong effect. Please replace the E with an A. Okay, let me just find it. It's near the end. Ah. Oh yeah, words even telling me to change it. Sorry, Cherry. Why are you apologizing? Because I was too busy being distracted by uh, holding, uh, taking shits and holding people's hands. That, that's, <laughs> I'm not going to say that's fine, but that's something. <laughs> that's you. I think I broke Hatchet. You know what? It's you know what? It's been a while since I did this. Everyone, I'd well, obviously, stream chat can't see it, but everyone, I'd like to uh, point your attention to the fact that I'm now going to turn on my camera. Okay. I'm going to look you in the eye, bright. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
fuck you. <laughs> Is that an answer to my question? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> anyway. That's not the weirdest question I've asked you, though. Uh, I can't remember any weirder questions. Let's not dive into that. Let's continue on the story. We don't yeah. have all... Anyway, I'm going to go back to not socializing. We love you. We love you. I would prefer if you not ask me things that <laughs> hurts my brain. You know what? If you ever feel like turning bright, just remember the squirrel that made the race car sound. Wait, what? The squirrel that made the race car sound. I, 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 I'm confused. Now, to be very clear, if for some reason it was of an absolute necessity, as in life or death, or you desperately needed it for some bizarre reason, I could possibly be convinced into doing it. <laughs> You it's, would be expected to pay me several thousand dollars. It's my Make a Wish Foundation wish. <laughs> it's for you to still want to answer one thing of shit. If it ain't gonna save a life, I ain't doing it. <laughs> like, 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 for me to do this, it's either an absolute necessity for you for some reason. Or Jigsaw has us tied up and is saying, you either hold hands and shit or you die. Those are the only ways that this happens. I, I, I still find it funny that one person said yes. Uh. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, anyway, back to the story. <laughs> See you I've later, got, Hatchet. I've got Festus. He won't ask me weird questions that hurts my brain. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. Yeah, good night. Good night. All right. I get dirty thoughts when I read the sentence, but it, keep, but it can keep people from going inside you. Well, if you want it to sound less dirty, then no. you can modify it to from going inside you to going inside your mind. Because that's what it specifically means anyway. No, it's fine as it is. It's just that... It's just, it's just <laughs> me. Adurna has a different opinion. You know yeah. what? You can apply it to inside your mind. That's barely any difference, and it will help your dirty brain. You asexual.
That is a lot to take in. At least it's before the pepper. Well, wait. Boom. Yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like he explained it in a, where, a way where this time it doesn't really leave one to question. Where yeah. before, when we did it in the tree room, it definitely led, uh, left a lot to question. There, yeah. he was uh, saying things very scattered because he was nervous, because he didn't think she trusted him. And he was just so panicked. Now he's less panicked and he feels more confident. And as a result, he's speaking a lot better. You know, the way that we're speaking right now, we can probably get rid of most of what the original talk was. Yeah, and now we can add more action with Rattler getting attacked and Bright having a pepper shoved up her throat. My first thought was that you're about to say throat, and I don't know why. What? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, thank you, Adern. Yes, book. That's what I was thinking. Thank you, book. Adurna, for gifting it a sub. Wait, why is my alert box not going off? Why did it not go off? It didn't go off. That's weird. No, oh, an anonymous person. Oh, it was an anonymous person who did it. Was that you, book? Definitely not someone here. No. Why did my alert system not go off? I don't know why. It's like, is it broken? All right, let's do a test. I hit test, nothing happened. It sounds like it needs to be fixed. Yeah. Record keys. Paste. Okay, let's try it again. Fuck. Wait, what's happening? It's not... My alerts aren't going through. What? Let's try something. What the fuck? I didn't turn anything off. Oh, wait. Well, it, I mean, 
It shouldn't affect it because the output's on right now. Well, my alert system is now just fucking broken. For some reason. Uh, do you know anyone that can help you? I don't know. But anyway, we're going to do that. Because that was going to be it. It's like, it's, like, it's like five minutes away from midnight. <laughs> Fair enough. That means we finish the rest tomorrow? Yeah. It's odd that it's not working. I hope you can figure out the issue before tomorrow's stream. Yeah. We're, we're gonna raid you. Uh, bookworm. Choose what we say. Pepper enema. <laughs> I will, I will, I will do that. Everyone ready? Oh my gosh. In three, two, one. <laughs>